In this tutorial, I'll show you how to attach objects to walls in After Effects. Let's get to it. Here we are in After Effects. I've got this video of an alley and I want to attach an object to this left wall. For that, I'm going to open Effects and Presets window and search for 3D Camera Tracker. Then I'm going to add this effect to the video layer. Then After Effects will start analyzing the footage in order to create tracking points. And once this process is finished, you should see a lot of points created in the video. If you somehow clicked away and you don't see them, make sure that you select 3D Camera Tracker in Effect Controls. So these are the tracking points. And if we hover the cursor over any of them, you will see this red target icon that gives you a preview of what the object is going to look like once you add it here. But you can always change that later. So that is just for the sake of the preview. So in my case, I want to add an object to this wall over here. So I'm going to scroll a bit back. Then I'm going to right click and select create solid and camera. Then a camera and the solid will be created and you only need to create camera once and the rest will be just the solids. Now if we play the video, you will see that we have the solid layer that is stuck to the wall and it doesn't move as the video plays. Now the beautiful thing about this is that we can pre-compose this solid. So if we select it, right click on it, go to pre-compose, you can call this whatever you want. And make sure you select the first option for leave all attributes, then click OK. Now if we double click on the pre-comp, and here we can hide or remove the solid from here and we can replace it with something else that could be text, logo, video, photo, completely up to you really. So I'm going to add a simple After Effects logo, so drag it here, press S on the keyboard and adjust the scale if needed. And if you want to change the resolution of the composition, you can simply right click over here, go to composition settings and set the width to something like 1920 and by 1080 or something. So in my case, I'll just leave it as it is. Click OK, since the logo is square. Once you've adjusted the scale, let's go back to the main composition. And here we should see the logo or whatever you've added here instead of a solid, nicely stacked to the wall. So then you can select it and open its settings, go into transform settings. And here you can change scale, position, the rotation and stuff like that. So if you want to make it bigger, so just increase the scale. You can also move the logo around. And you can also play around with the X, Y, and Z rotation to give it a, like a different angle if it's not right. And as an extra step to make the object seem like it belongs here, we can add a drop shadow. So search for drop shadow in effects and presets. Add it to the pre-comp and then in effect controls, play around with the angle. In my case, I want the shadow to be cast onto a wall. So I'm going to play around with the direction angle like that. I'm going to slightly increase the distance and increase the softness a bit. And now we have this nice and soft shadow behind the object. And you can add as many objects as you want, as long as you have space. And that is how you attach objects to walls in After Effects. Thanks for watching.